Question number seven. Uh, this is already set up for the comparison method. We have x is equal to 2y minus 8, x is equal to 8y minus 20. It's a lot easier to use the comparison method, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write 2y minus 8 is equal to 8y minus 20. I'm going to get all the y's on one side. I have more y's on the left-hand side, so it's going to be a lot easier to get rid of those two y's. You want to get rid of the y's where you have less of them. So minus 2y minus 2y ensures that you end up getting a positive coefficient for your y's. So we end up with negative 8 is equal to 6y minus 20. I want to get the 6y's all alone. So to do that, I'm going to get rid of the minus 20. I'm going to add 20 to both sides. And that gives me 20 take away is 12. So that gives me 12 is equal to 6y. I want to divide both sides by 6. Divide by 6, divide by 6. And that gives us 2 is equal to y. And then to find out what x is, I'm going to plug it into the, I guess, the first equation. And we end up getting x is equal to 2 times 2 minus 8, which is 4. Take away 8, which is negative 4. So our solution is negative 4, comma, 2. And that is it for question number 7. Have a good day.